Hi, I'm Dragon Metals here. Today I'm going to be separating the different precious metal components from SMD components at surface mount devices. These tiny, tiny little things here. And I'll be putting them in these tiny jars. It's different materials in these. Here we have white MLCCs. There's some silver in them. Here we have transistors, more silver, There's probably tiny infinitesimal amounts of gold in them as well, also tin. Here we have fuses, same for them, silver, there's also a tiny amount of copper and probably either rhodium or tungsten metal for the fuse element inside of them, both quite valuable. But as you can see, they're very, very small. Here we have oscillators, fuses, uh, timing crystals. As you can see what's in that. Gold. See the gold one there? Very shiny. Here we have resistors, ceramic resistors. They contain silver and tiny amounts of the metal ruthenium. Strange name. And MLCCs, ones you've seen before, these are the brown ones with palladium inside. Also silver, as usual. So lots and lots of precious metals there. That's ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, silver, probably copper and gold and other materials also. So I'd be sorting through them in this here. These are MLCCs as you can see. Brown ones. Lots of other material inside of here to separate through. This is a backbreaking, laborious process. Not exactly fun, but there is lots of value in these components. Whoops. So we'll be looking for palladium this time, that's the tiny brown things. i have a look through this little jar afterwards to make sure there's no grey ones mixed in. Or burned ones, they look similar. They are very, very small, millimetre in size. Check the thumbnail or post pictures. For the relevant parts. Very small, as I said. Some are uh, a little bit larger. They do come in several sizes. You can get really big ones, they help make up the weight, I mean. That one doesn't look like one, that's black. No, wrong.
increase the number slightly. Whoop, keep doing that. Sorry about that. Some in there. Try and separate some of the ones that aren't brown. As you can see there's a couple of grey ones in there. You want to get rid of them. As you only want the brown or light brown colour MRCCs. If you want the palladium. That does appear to be brown, is it? Might be burned on one side. No. Doesn't help when they're only millimeters in size. Good. We will go in this little jar with the rest. It's about seven grams in there, not too much. There we go. Pick out some different components next. There's some fuses. There's see a green fuse. Remove that. There's not too many of them in here. I think I'll go for some resistors next. That's that tiny one there. There are many, many of these. So I shouldn't have trouble picking through. Sorry about the wobbly camera, I'm holding it. Try and lean it on there, to make it a bit steadier. Hard to film these tiny components as it is. Some bits that shouldn't be in there. That strange colored red one is also a resistor. And come in different color variations. But they also have the same function. These ones contain silver and ruthenium in very trace amounts, but it's still there. But being as though that's a rare metal anyway, it's worth collecting. Seems to have some other bits attached to that.
when that happens you'll have to break them up with a pair of pliers tend to do that at a later date Just showing where I get them all from. Almost every part of e waste items is useful, right down to these tiny, minuscule components. Tweezers have become slightly magnetized. There are also other components in here of note. Let me see if I can find some tantalum metal. There should be some in here. Probably won't be much. Because I have picked most of it out at previous time. I could have missed one or two. There's one, blocking diode, they can contain tantalum, they usually come in a sort of orange colour, there's one, another one, sort of burned though, but that contains the metal tantalum. Quite a bit of palladium there still. As you remove more and more material it becomes easier to find other materials that you're looking for. Especially when you start removing resistors as there are many of them as you can see. Small gold plated connector there, I've missed. It's 
There's also other unwanted materials in here, like these switches, or bits of switches. Was once a tactile switch. Don't want them. It's not what I'm looking for. Not worth the effort of separating them though. Well, that was separating precious metals from SMD components. Quite a few of that. Well, see you next time.